Hi everybody and welcome back to Plastic Models by Regular Dude. And it is eight days late, but here is my August 2019 update. So we can see what's going on with the channel. Okay, first up we have my entry into the IDF group build, as mentioned in some prior videos. Um, I'm doing the Dragon Magok 1 and 2. And this is where it sits thus far. Um, got it all painted, did some of the detail painting. Um, gonna have to do some touch up on here because after I sprayed the clear on, it kind of uh, decroated the paint. So take note, I'm cheating right now because I was out of flat um, using this. This was all that was available locally. This stuff will make uh, Vallejo model color crack up and craze a bit. It's not bad, and I'll just run over it real quick again. And then once I do, you know, touch up painting and shadows and weathering, it'll be fine. But anyway, <clears throat> that's where that is. Got the uh, detail painting done. The wheels and the um, drive sprockets are in the other room. Um, but uh, so it's ready to go. Got the tracks uh, started. So that's coming right along. The uh, deadline on this one, I think, is June, and I'm going to be done here in about, you know, hopefully by the weekend or maybe next week. So, uh, yeah, this is coming right along quite uh, quickly. So, um, quick, a few quick notes on the kit. Um, it's a really good kit. I enjoy it. I've enjoyed it. The detail's really nice. Everything is fit together great. Um, I talk about it in some of my... Uh, I did a couple of videos on it. They're not step by steps, but um, I talked about it and um, it just really has gone together really well. Even the stuff as tricky as uh, cutting these fenders and uh, um, putting the specific back portions that uh, is called for in this particular kit because I'm doing the Magak 2. Um, so that's working out really good. It's just, it's, it's, it's a really good kit. So I'm definitely going to be building one of these again in the future, but I'll be doing the A3 version um, in Vietnam era U.S. markings and colors. Um, there's not a whole lot of difference between the two kits. Um, some detail stuff, but that's about it. So anyway, this one's going along quite nicely. I really like the uh, decals on this kit. There is like no carrier film present at all. Very nice uh, decals. Um, I've got a pretty good method for putting these things on. It seems to be working. And uh, so when I do weathering and stuff, you know, you won't have that telltale, you know, marks uh, that you can sometimes encounter with, uh, you know, decals with a lot of carrier, carrier film or thick carrier, carrier film. I can't talk. So anyway, that's where that one is. So the other kit I'm going to be working on, and this is for the Peter Person um, build, Peter Person tribute build, uh, also mentioned in a prior video. Um, and I decided to go, I had planned on doing one thing, but I changed my mind and I decided to go with this. So that uh, group build or buddy build, whatever you want to call it, um, the criteria is it has to be something in Swedish service. So um, I did a little bit of looking around and I thought about doing, you know, like uh, some of the Swedish aircraft and so I thought, well, you know what? I think I'll do something a little bit different than just going, you know, easy. And I figured I'd do a P-51 in Swedish markings. Uh, there's a few different ones and some decal kits that, decal sets that um, you can... Uh, get which i have on order i don't have it yet so as soon as i get that i'll be able to show you what that looks like so i went to my local hobby lobby because i had seen this before and after i did uh, some searching and reviews and stuff this is a 2017 kit um all brand new 2017 and from what i've read other than having some you know kind of heavy-handed panel lines and stuff like that other than that it seems to be a really really good kit now um i've only built a few p51s in my life but i have never ever in my life built any airfix kits so this should be um something new for me uh this one is actually um the deadline for getting this one complete is december 
so uh, I should be able to get this knocked out without any problems. So um, this will this will be pretty fun. So looking forward to it. I'll do a review, uh, kind of an inbox kind of thing. I'm not really going to do a big old fat, you know, detailed review. There's plenty of those online, but I'll talk about the kit. I'll do my usual deal. And I'm kind of thinking about doing it. Oh, the box lids obviously on there very tight. I'm kind of thinking about doing a. Um, not only doing it as a you know for the tribute build but also doing a um beginner series on it and uh because i've never really worked with um uh, bare metal finish for my beginner series and um there's uh one slight modification i want to make to the aircraft from what comes out of the box so just kind of as an ongoing thing for my beginner series but uh, that's the next one coming up. I'm really looking forward to doing that. That should be a lot of fun. So the next thing I want to talk about, and this isn't going to be a real long video, hopefully. But uh, I haven't been doing too many videos, and the ones I've done have been pretty brief. And part of that is because of the current uh, um, way things are set up in the house. Um, and, you know, new grandchildren loving that um i've had to uh alter my um the way i'm building um right here at this desk it's kind of cramped and claustrophobic feeling and so i've set myself up a kind of a mobile modeling unit i basically got a uh 18 by 24 um artist drawing board uh, it's lightweight, uh, it's hollow body, but very nice, nicely constructed, and um, trimmed down my one of my uh, mats to fit. Put that on top of it. Got a couple of small boxes that I can put my tools and sanding sticks and all that kind of stuff. Um, cutters, files, um, hobby knife, whatever I need. I can put it on this board, and I can take it into the dining room. And work on the kit there where I'm in next to the living room where everybody's hanging out so I can work on models and still be including conversations and hanging out with everybody because it's kind of I don't know it's kind of weird I don't like being all isolated in this room um, so that's what I'm doing right now so I'm going back and forth and I don't you know my video stuff obviously is right here so it's not as convenient to make videos and um, you know I'll be you know with my videos aren't gonna get all you know obliterated or anything but um you know i shoot them when i can and i'm getting ready to have another grandchild uh, well, i'm not my daughter is and that little baby will be living in the house with us for a little while uh with my daughter and son-in-law so that's gonna be a lot of fun and i'm um, really looking forward to it because grandchildren are awesome if you don't have them you just don't know does a body good so anyway, um, so I'm kind of moving between, uh, I'm mainly using this room here for paint, uh, for airbrushing and stuff like that, you know, kind of the dirty stuff. All the rest of it I can do out there, you know, assembly, weathering, all that kind of thing. Um, so my, you know, videos will be kind of jumping back and forth. And as I can, I will shoot them where I'm working, especially since I'm wanting to do the, uh, the P-51 as a beginner build. Um, we'll see how that works um, but anyway so that's what's basically going on on the bench here uh, I've got some other pro projects lined up for the future um, I'll talk about those more later some of them I've already touched on before but you know we'll get into them again um, but yeah that's pretty much uh, what's going on in uh, plastic models dude plastic model dudes uh, modeling world so i've been watching a lot of people's videos commenting on them when i can applying to comments that are left on mine um so you know as always you know if you have anything to say put it in the comments down below and i, I will respond i've um, got some guys that are uh you know leaving lots of good responses and lots of good uh, information um in the near future i think i'm going to uh, be posing a poll and um I seem to have a core group of people that watch my videos. You know, I've got like, I don't know how many, 
I, I, seven, I don't really look that often. I think I might have like 1,700 subscribers or something like that. Um, going off the numbers, again, which I seldom look at because, you know, that's not why I do this. Um, I seem to have a core group of people that watch the videos and uh, that, you know, comment and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to be posing a, um impromptu poll um, that I would like for everybody to participate in, um, if they would, the ones that are willing, and try and fine-tune how I do my, my channel um, in order to best deliver what the viewers that I have want to see, if that makes any sense. Um, I want to kind of streamline things a little bit. I mean, sometimes it can just be hit or miss, and, you know, some of my builds, like, you know, I'll be pretty good with going step by step by step, you know, with each, you know, part of the build process. But then once it gets to paint and the weathering, it, boom, it just blows up. And I go from bare plastic to almost completely finished um, with the, the um, updates in between not being that consistent. And I think it, a lot of it has to do with the way I build and the way I do my painting and weathering because I rarely do the same thing twice. Uh, I may do a lot of the same techniques, but I do them different orders and just all this kind of stuff. So uh, I'm going to be posing some questions and uh, hopefully you guys will respond to them and let me know what you want to see um, as far as changes, if any, you know. So we'll see, but that'll, that'll come later. Um, and uh, let's see, so I'm thinking that's pretty much it for this time. I think so. I think this is it. So, um, maybe in a few days or a week or so, I will do a video on how I've created my mobile uh, model building situation just for something to video and to, you know, hip everybody to. It might be helpful for somebody who's maybe in a similar situation or just, you know, wants to be able to move into a different room part of the time um i think i'll do that uh look for a video pretty soon on uh the completion of the uh magak uh, that should be getting done pretty soon so i'll be doing a finish up finalization on that and a reveal and then um be doing the uh, startup on this kit here i'll be talking about what's in the box and all that kind of stuff so uh yeah that's pretty much it i just want to do a quick uh update video for this last month let you guys know what's going on so as always if you have any questions or comments suggestions critiques whatever on the kits I'm doing or the kit that's coming up leave them below uh, let me know what your thoughts are on the kits that are coming up you know anything like that so yeah I think that's it so thanks for joining me here on plastic models by a regular dude and as always I will see you all later